Hey guys, it's Isaac here, and today it's going to be another IPGS overview video, um, but before I begin, I'd like to say sorry to my buddy Matt Lego for um, not including him in the list of people that are in the paper game community so far, and I'm pretty sure I forgot a bunch of people, so I really am sorry guys, I will be making another video like that one, where I where I say kind of who's like in the paper game community, you know, kind of like cool, um, a community that we're forming, and I really did mess up, I left out a lot of you guys, so I'm sorry, especially to you Matt Lego buddy, because he just came, so again, sorry, but today it's going to be an overview of my game. Dora Reborn. So as you can see, today's not going to be very much of a serious overview day. I mean, Dora Reborn is Dora Reborn, but um, if you guys remember that overview, Dora, let's just go to it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here we are, and this is Dora Reborn. Now, um... As I'm going to start off by saying this, Dora Reborn is a children's game, guys. I can't always make these games um, kind of aim for ages 10 to maybe 15 or 16. I can't really make those type of games all the time because I want my IPGS game system or paper game system to be as varied as it can be. So a little disclaimer here guys, this game is different from my other games and it's going to be more similar to Dora if you guys remember that overview because it is Dora. And now what I mean by is Dora is that these two games are the exact same thing. The Dora game, this game, as you can see how outdated it looks, how I wrote my name, how I scribbled this out, how I used to write ratings on it, how outdated this um, game looks for, for my system is because this is the second of, I think, 44 games that I made. You see, it's short, it's, it's stapled instead of, um, like, string, strung together. So, as you can see, my style really did change um, over the course of about 40 games and I thought this game was pretty good for kids and I wanted to I, I know I let my cousins play it they really enjoy it but um it is really outdated there's no color in it and you guys know I like to put color in my games so what I did was I created Dora Reborn now this was created in 2008 this was created in 2012 so it still is a pretty old game, but it's the same game, just reborn, and I'm really going to show you guys what I mean. This is a children's game, and I just kind of re-brought it back to life. So, um, this is going to be a big comparison video, so if you didn't see the Dora original overview, don't worry, I got you covered in this one, because I'm going to be showing you a huge comparison between the two. All right. So the first thing you need to play the game is the IPGS paper game system. Now this system is getting a little wear and tear on the sides of it as you can see there so I'll probably be updating it extremely soon. And if we really were to be playing the game you would take out the controller 1 and then if you were playing with a buddy the controller 2 is right there. They just fit right in there. You would need that game system. You would need the cartridge. And if we take a look at the old Dora cartridge, you can see the comparison between the two. Dora is still in black, but then Reborn is in like a kind of blue purplish color. Here's the um the game cartridge or game disc. You would kind of basically open it up like that and kind of just insert it into the to the front port of the game system. The second thing you need to play Dora Reborn is the trophies. Well, not really need, but it's kind of an optional feature. Just kind of gives you more for the game, kind of more of an incentive. Here's the Dora Reborn trophies. Yeah? So you would carry basically that booklet around if you want to kind of get, complete the game 100%. You also will need the Dora character pouch. In case you guys don't know, this character pouch, all these characters here will not be used for the game. Because some of the characters in here are for the sequels of Dora, which I have not showed you guys yet. 
But, you know, even if it's a kid game, I did want to make a kind of sequel for it. So there's that. And that's what you would basically need to play the game. And then, let's look at the cover here. It says Isaac Cruz is on top. IPGS on bottom, and if you guys know, this is now switched in my most recent games. IPGS is on top, and Isaac Cruz is on the bottom. In my most recent games, though. As you can see, it says, what is this? I just basically told you what it is. Copyright 2012, Dora Reborn. And then, as you can see, if you take a look at the old cover of Dora... And you take a look at the Door Reborn cover, you already know you're kind of in for a better game. Of course, if you're a kid. So we would click here to start. And we'll skip that message because I basically just told you it. And here's the new game load game selection screen. Now in this game, if you would open it, there is no new game load game selection screen. I added this because this is a kind of very important screen in case you need to take a break from playing the game. And you have boots on the bottom there, in case you guys don't know your Dora. <laughs> so we would click new game there. And here's the adventure mode, or the game modes, sorry. So uh, this is a big thing because if you look at the old um, game mode selection screen, look at how bland it kind of looks. Adventure mode, shop mode versus mode, with your money on the top. And if you look here, it's the same exact thing. Adventure mode, shop mode, versus mode, but everything is in multiple colors and you have swipers tails on the side of everything and it still says your money. So as you can see, I told you guys, this is the same game, but it literally just is in color. So if we click the, um, the versus mode, Oh, as you can see, this is a, my one of my older games because I don't put how many pages you have to turn to get to that specific game mode. I really should go back into the game and add it. So we'll click versus mode. And then versus mode wasn't really touched by me. As you can see here, versus mode in the original Dora. Versus mode in the new Dora Reborn. Just um, It just says like a, um, a red kind of versus mode instead of uh, just pen. So that really isn't a significant change, but I guess it's something. So we'll go back to the main modes and we'll click shop mode. I'm guessing you have to turn three pages. One, two, three, yeah. Here's the shop mode. The shop mode is relatively unchanged. If we go to the shop mode in the original Dora here, you see how that looks. And in Reborn, you see how that looks. So it's pretty much untouched, no added color in Reborn. So, and then the last mode in this game is the Adventure Mode. And I'm not really going in depth of what the Versus Mode does, what the Shop Mode does, what the Shop Mode allows you to buy, because I actually went through all that in my Dora overview. So in case you guys are, um, are interested in all this stuff, what it does, I'm not really going to be going in depth with it, because I already went in depth in the original Dora overview. Alright. Now here's the adventure mode selection screen. There's five missions. And here's how the old one looks. Just like that. And the new one looks like that. So purple and um, green adventure mode um, kind of lettering on the top. And you have a little star on the bottom. Whereas this just had the bland page. There's a side-by-side -side comparison. So, yeah. And then if you would turn the page, you would basically, basically everything's in color. So, like this page, for example. This is the first page, I think, of the first mission. And if you turn to the old game, this is how it looked, the first page of the first mission. If I could even go to that page, here it is. So as you can see, just look at the difference between the quality of the two games. Reborn definitely does add something. I definitely add something with Reborn. As you can see, look at how the grumpy old troll was drawn in the original. And look at how it's drawn in Reborn. 
easy, normal, and hard were added to the sides of it, where it wasn't added to this. This was before in two bubbles. This is now in one. And the bridge is now colored. Now, if I simultaneously turn the page... You can see that this page is basically untouched. It's still basically the same page, this one. If I bring it into the camera. This one just is easy, normal, hard. This one says nothing. And instead of it being two bubbles, there's a hand and one bubble. So it's just kind of a refined game. If I turn the page one more time, I'll show you one more page. Nah, maybe that one's not good. I'll show you, nope. I'll show you guys maybe this page. So if this is the original one, so if I turn to Reborn, that page that I was going to show you guys, here it is. So you could already see more differences in Reborn um, that was not present in the original. So in the original, you would have character here with a box. In Reborn, it just says character here with arrows. The blocks are colored, and the bubble is bigger on the top. So again, it's just some more refinements to the game. Well, that's it, guys. I don't think I really have to show you more. It is a kid's game, and it's just a better kid's game, as you can see. I'll show you the Vine page here, if I can find it. As you can see, here's the Vine page, and there's the new Vine page. It's just, it's the same exact game, but everything is an updated color, updated everything, pretty much. It's still the same old Dora game. If you guys want to see the overview, it's in my channel. But don't really worry about it, guys. I will be bringing you the, um, the kind of real um, content of the Ben 10 old generation demo I am so close to being done with the demo to show you guys I'm sorry but I'm nowhere near close to being done with the actual game but the demo I'm actually pretty close to being done with to show you guys the demo of the adventure mode which I am super super stoked about showing you guys but I still hope you enjoy this kind of childish of a game overview. Um, but I still wanted to show you guys anyway. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.